Well, ask any local and they'll tell you they may not have seen it, but they know someone who has. What I'm talking about is a mysterious beast that supposedly calls southern Oklahoma home and has become a source of pride for one small Oklahoma town. Here's our Brian Bindley. One of the greatest unsolved mysteries has occurred right here in the state of Oklahoma. Something so strange that the few who have encountered it say the experience has been life altering. The anomaly is described as a huge furry beast-like animal who roams the forest at night. Now no scientific name has been recorded, but the beast has become known as Bigfoot. Sightings have occurred all across the U.S. and many in the sleepy town of Honevy, Oklahoma. In a camping trip one night where a unreal kind of a scream uh, came out of the night and whatever it was got in my camp and uh, our horses broke loose and left us up to our foot up the mountain. When we looked on top of the hills and seen shadows you know, I mean, not likely you see shadows moving. It, is, it has to be something up there moving. Tim Harjo and Riley Donica have both had encounters with the elusive animal, shunning all naysayers and embracing those who have had similar experiences. Here a lot of things happen, and uh, people still yet haven't seen to or to believe, you know. Uh, the true wolves of the wild, you don't see them, but they're there. Even if you don't believe there is a Bigfoot, you have a tendency to believe the people who say they're in. You know, and the people that are skeptic, you know, maybe we're the one that's not crazy. I don't know. Whether Bigfoot is real or not, one thing is for sure, Bigfoot is big time money for Honubby, as I found out at the second annual Bigfoot Festival. I don't think anything like this has ever hit Honubby before. Katie Cogburn is the coordinator for this year's Bigfoot Festival and says over 5,000 people have come to this tiny community nestled in the Kayamishi Mountains. People are just fascinated with the Bigfoot uh, phenomenon that's going on here. Well, uh, have you yourself ever encountered Bigfoot? No, I haven't. <laughs> Except a few people that uh, uh, resemble him, I think, quite a bit. <laughs> Participants can enjoy Bigfoot fun as they partake in pony rides, music, and now grab the wheel and I'll pony storytelling, it's really a story. and local flavor. Hanobi resident, Ron Hammer. It brings in money for the community, the people who have cabins and stores and things, and it, and it helps Oklahoma because people come from Texas and everywhere else here, and it brings money into the state, and that's really what we really want to do here. Still not satisfied with not finding Bigfoot myself, I decided to ask the locals. Have you seen him here today yet? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was riding a four-wheeler. Yes, Bigfoot was sighted riding a four-wheeler and then taking pictures with local kids. All the rest of my kin folks out there in the woods, they're kind of bashful, and they won't come out. He even speaks perfect southern Oklahoma English. But I had my suspicions that Hanobi's very own Ronnie Hammer was Bigfoot himself. I am Bigfoot at this Bigfoot festival. Well, nevertheless, citizens have found a way to turn this unsolved mystery into a money-making, fun-filled family festival as skeptics and believers flock to Honubi, Oklahoma in search of the mighty creature and a good time. <laughs>